Hello, I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a senior consultant histopathologist and head of pathology department, AKMICH, KSA. I am going to talk about germ cell neoplasms of the ovary, embryonal carcinoma. Definition and general background. Embryonal carcinoma is a pluripotent and highly malignant germ cell tumor resembling undifferentiated stem cells during embryonic development. It is important to note that pluripotent means capable of differentiating along different pathways. In the ovary, Pure embryonal carcinoma is exceedingly rare, comprising only 3% of all primitive germ cell tumors. It is most often found in the ovary as a component of mixed germ cell tumor. It is morphologically identical to embryonal carcinoma of the testis. It affects young girls and adults with a median age at presentation of 12 years. The presentation could be a rapidly enlarging abdominal pelvic mass with dissemination outside of the ovary into the peritoneum causing pain or pressure. Hormonal manifestations which occur in 60% including isosexual precocity, irregular vaginal bleeding and menstrual cycles, amenorrhea or virilization. Abnormal beta HCG levels are more frequent than in this germinoma, approximately 50% of cases. Most embryonal carcinomas contain an isochromosome or over representation of 12p. If untreated, embryonal carcinomas are aggressive with a 5-year survival of approximately 50%. They are exquisitely sensitive to multi-agent chemotherapy. Gross appearance. The median diameter of these neoplasms is 17 cm on average. Their external surface is smooth and glistening. Their cut surface is predominantly solid and variegated with extensive areas of necrosis and hemorrhage. Microscopic features. Multiple growth patterns usually present. Three most common growth patterns including solid pattern, tubular glandular pattern, papillary pattern. Embryonal carcinoma with rare patterns. Embryonal carcinoma with sieve-like pattern, embryonal carcinoma with macrocysts, embryonal carcinoma with pseudoendodermal sinuses, Schiller doval bodies pattern. Embryonal carcinoma with other rare patterns. Embryonal carcinoma with glandular foci resembling secretory phase endometrium. Embryonal carcinoma with applique appearance. It refers to the presence of darkly staining, smudge degenerating tumor cells at the periphery of solid nodules. Embryonal carcinoma forms embryoid body-like structures recapitulating the embryonic architecture with a cavity around a small nest of embryonal carcinoma cells. When the tumor is composed of numerous embryoid bodies, it is called polyembryoma.
Tumor cells are highly pleomorphic with indistinct cell borders and large vesicula irregularly shaped overlapping crowded nuclei with prominent nucleoli and conspicuous mitosis. Please note that embryonal carcinoma tumor cells are generally larger than seminoma cells. Coagulative necrosis is common either as focal confluent foci or as single cell necrosis. Mitotic activity and apoptotic cells are often abundant. Scattered syncytial trophoblast cells can be present. The presence of syncytial trophoblast cells correlates with elevated beta HCG and hormonal manifestations. They are usually located at the periphery of the tumor or within hemorrhagic areas. Lymphovascular invasion is commonly found in embryonal carcinoma. In mixed germ cell tumors, it is often the embryonal carcinoma component that is seen invading the blood vessels. In clinical stage 1 patients, the presence of vascular invasion strongly correlates with the development of metastasis. Embryonal carcinoma is aggressive locally spreads extensively in the abdominal cavity. Immunohistochemistry. Embryonal carcinoma shows strong and diffuse membranous positivity for CD30, membranous and cytoplasmic positivity for PLAP, placenta-like alkaline phosphatase, in 85% to 95%, a strong and diffused nuclear positivity for OC3-4, a strong and diffused nuclear positivity for SALL4. Differential diagnosis. This germinoma. An embryonal carcinoma with a predominant solid pattern can mimic this germinoma. This germinoma shows distinct cell borders, fibrous septa with a prominent inflammatory component, less pleomorphic cells, less primitive appearance, lower mitotic activity, Positivity for CD117, CKIT, negativity for CD30 and SOX2. High grade ovarian carcinoma, particularly high grade serous carcinoma and differentiated carcinoma, carcinosarcoma. All these entities typically occur in adult patients and are exceedingly rare in girls and adolescents. Unlike embryonal carcinoma, ovarian epithelial tumors are positive for EMA, negative for SALL4 and OC3-4. Therapy and prognosis. Embryonal carcinoma often presents with dissemination outside of the ovary into the peritoneum. Surgical management includes unilateral oophorectomy, debulking of any grossly visible tumor. If untreated, embryonal carcinomas are aggressive with a five-year survival of approximately 50%. Fortunately, these tumors are exquisitely sensitive to multi-agent BEP chemotherapy, which achieves cure in most patients, even those 
with advanced stage at presentation. Chemotherapy usually eliminates metastatic embryonal carcinoma cells, but differentiated tissues originating for them are resistant. Serum beta HCG is used to monitor for tumor recurrence. These are the references. Thank you.